Hey guys, we're acting too. We all, we will all miss you, RIP. As you guys know, Jesse just lost his aunt, well, like one of his aunts, on his dad's side. Um, name was Amy. RIP Jesse and the Ridgeway family. I'm sorry for your loss. Um, so yeah, go show Jesse some love if he needs it. Also, guys, I'm gonna be doing a story time video too later. I was planning on doing. It. I didn't know Jesse was uploading, but um. It seems like it's a pattern because I feel like the last few Sundays he's been uploading. So, I don't know if that's going to be a normal thing. Like, every Sunday he's going to upload a video. It kind of seems like it. But I guess we just have to wait and see. Also, Jesse, Jesse just did a giveaway. I mean, he's, he gave away some, some more stuff. I don't know if it's all gone now or not. But, yeah. So, check that out. Let's get into it. 27 minutes. Gates only has 10 seconds left. Oh, hello there, my friends. I'm just posing for my nude photo shoot. <laughs> no, I'm actually rehabilitating my knee right now. Uh, it hurts so bad on the inside. I did have like a little relapse. Something's torn. It's been torn. You, know, you gotta let day. things heal, you know, it's I gonna happen. Hair. I do these exercises. You know, like I've talked about my dad. When he was, you know, I think like my age, maybe a little bit younger. He hurt his knee. He had knee surgery. You know, he still has issues with it till this day, unfortunately. Like not like down often, but... There's been a few times where it's like hurt in and like he couldn't walk on it for a couple of days. I'd be on crutches and like ice packs. Um, and it's still like kind of swollen. Like if you look at both those knees, you can know that one's still swollen. Like it just never healed properly or whatever. Just, you know. I feel like that's kind of a common thing with knees. Like if you have any sort of knee issues, surgery, you always kind of have issues with it. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like it's kind of thing. I feel like I've heard people say that before, but... You know, so unfortunately, that's a thing with when it comes to the knees, then people do experience, you know. Usually, once you have one issue, then you always continue to have it. Like my dad, too, he's turned stuff in his shoulders, had so so uh, surgery in both shoulders, and he has issues with his shoulders. Like, he can't really raise his hands that high or, like, do much over his head because his arms are weak from his shoulders. So, like, that stuff happens. That's a normal thing to happen. So, it seems like Jesse might be that way with his knee, like... Oh, you know, it would get better, but then it always end up re-injuring it because it always end up doing too much. Oh, just, you know, that happens too. As you get older, your body's not what it used to be either, so, yeah. I have a whole little routine. But not it sucks. to the point where I can, like, work it out, like, with weights and resistance and stuff, so I just do my own body for now. But, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, hey there, Jay's Joe Comic Terrence here. Welcome back to the vlogs. Hope you're enjoying them. And uh, today's just going to be like a variety vlog, we'll call it. Just a bunch of random updates, life updates, and uh, cool stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Drop some likes in your pump. <laughs> Where it's, it kind of relies on that part. This would be EPDM flashing tape or cover tape, depending on, on where it is. Whether it's on the edge. Bro, the song is me up right now. Holy <laughs> Were you told it was designed to be that way? Yeah. The moss on it? Yeah, they were calling it a living roof, and the, mm -hmm. I guess the architect what wanted it to... Signs the a house of moss on it. That's just weird. Yeah, but then I saw, like, a corn stalk, like, growing out of it, and I'm like, all right, well, you know what? <laughs> I've never heard like of anyone just sign the house where you have moss on it. That just makes it look... I don't know, I feel like that just makes... I don't know. Uh, sometime tomorrow, I can send that over. Okay. As have you guys ever heard of that? Let me know in the comments. Um, it'll probably take, uh... So it'll probably take us a few days each building. Okay. That was a roofing specialist because we are finally replacing the living roof in the PA house. If you guys yeah, could have surmised that from the call. We'll see what the price estimates are tomorrow. <gasps> so right, boys and girls. Probably be a, I'd say a couple thousand. To the rigid arcade. If you're wondering what the a couple hundred to right a couple thousand. Most likely a couple thousand. But it's worth it, you know. That type studios, of stuff, you know, is worth it. You know, babies. 25. As you can see, you I'm want your roof to, you know, stop leaking and stuff. So that's not good, so. Super Nintendo N64, all that. Oh, just dropping off a still surviving Xbox. Video games. Uh, I need video games in my life. And then the PS4. Oh, the speaking of video games, I just ordered two games off Amazon. Freaking shit's expensive on Amazon. Like, Minecraft was like forty dollars, and I was able to get GTA Five for like twenty something dollars. But it, it was like a special edition too. But it's crazy. Then if you go on GameStop, those games are only like twenty bucks. You know, cheaper than Amazon. It's ridiculous for games, you know. But um, yeah, those should be coming. I think either Tuesday or Wednesday. So that's exciting. I mean, you know, my my sister and parents can tell me just hook up the Xbox, but I feel more comfortable waiting until my room's all set. You know. 
because then I'll have to take it, you know, unhook it and everything. Just why do that, you know? But yeah, I did Being buy some games. So. For those who know Super Mario Brothers, Buzz is still on all my games. Got one of my favorites, Super Nintendo. Got the Wii U, the Switch. Got some other Xbox. This is like the original Xbox. I got another Super Nintendo. I don't know if I, I can get rid of my old system. Like, I kind of thought about trading in my Xbox. Xbox since, like, it's Xbox, memories, you know? So, my uh, PS2, uh, my PS1, Wii. Like, I sell those. One or two other I sell my like Game Boy. Then back, backstage in the it's movie, memories, it's you know, it's nostalgia. Old, like, Something to look back on, and you can see and think of all the good memories you had. On the old Xbox 360. You don't really think about it, but like when you don't have any internet, how the f do you watch any movies? Because everything's streamed and on like a digital library. True. But you just play games without like, internet. Use the so service, that's good. You need internet, so like without internet, we were f so we had to use DVDs. Like, could you imagine like the sun farted and the world just lost internet for a bit? We'd be screwed. I would not be able to even communicate with you guys anymore. Looks so much better over here. Still we still have so up. many DVDs. I, want to show off. I just you got know, the Simpsons them, but... arcade yeah. from uh, One Up Arcade. This game. Oh, and I never so played good. that much. I'm sometimes. totally swagging with it right now. But uh, guys, I used to rock this game in the arcade. You just spend like fifty dollars just to get through the campaign mode. It plays like Super. Uh, I almost said Super Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Combining Mario. Super Ninja Turtles. <laughs> the game plays like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Did you ever play that? Like Super Ninja Turtles. That sounds like a cool game, though. Buttons. Like, for real, though? Like, like, like legitly? Really fun, but it's like Super a Ninja campaign. Turtles. Play up to, uh, it looks like four players. That sounds kind of badass. Already not already did, gonna uh, we did two-player co-op. We beat the game. It was a lot of fun. And I had to pay, like, no money in quarters. Even though they're really starting to upgrade them. Look, those look like quarter holes like that's so sick and it also came with this really cool, cool. It fits the color scheme of the like blue in here really well and then yeah, I like the snuck in similar to the star wars pinball we got marvel pinball there's like 10 different digital like all the old here. school arcade super games you know i mean you still see pinball in the arcades the but like you know got destroyed but i'm super super excited to like lock some high scores in on here spooderman Spooderman, Spooderman, does whatever I ask for me. That reminds me of Simpsons. Remember the Simpsons movie? Spider Pig, Spider Pig, does whatever a Spider Pig does. You guys ever seen a Simpsons movie? You know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, you should. I have that on DVD. Speaking of DVDs, I have some right here. I, I, I have Chris Angel. I, I have the Jason movies, Friday the 13th. I can, like, crack jokes and make female noises. Uh, yeah, I can not There's Ashley. That's the good thing, guys, is no matter what kind of injury you have, 22 there's minutes. some kind of exercise you can do. I might not be able to do any crazy treadmill, running, hiking, but at least I can still do something, you know, and it's important to do something. Guys, leave in the comments remember VHS tapes. Lazy. I have, like, two garbage bags full of them in the laundry room of my old ones from when I was a kid. If you guys know what they are, let me know in the comments. Because he ain't making any kind of series or anything, so what the f*** doing? I do want to say, though, maybe I'm procrastinating, but make sure you subscribe to this channel. Drop some likes, guys. I mean, he did put on Twitter yesterday, like, why am I getting rid of everything? Is it prepare for something new or something along the lines then? I know a lot of people are automatically going to go to him. Maybe it's a new series, but... Maybe it can also mean, like, hit the next chapter in his life. Like, he's in his 30s now. Maybe he wants to move on from doing series, you know? Like, that was what he did when he was in his 20s. Maybe, you know, he now he wants to do something different for his 30s. You know what I mean? Like, you have to remember, guys, he's getting older. His family's getting older. They're not, you know, the buyers are not what they used to be anymore. So they can't do these crazy stuff. You have to keep that in mind. You know, I feel like people don't realize that, you know? Especially now with Jesse's knee being messed up again. You know, and I'm sure it's probably going to be a thing that happens, you know, from time to time we'll have issues with it. But, um, you know, you got to think about that, too. It can be the next chapter, you know. Like, I like series. Don't get me wrong. Jesse's series are cool, but I think also you got to realize, too, you know, he's getting older. He's not that same person anymore, you know. Maybe he wants to move on from that, and that's okay, you know. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. And like I said, too, it's like his parents are older now. Um, you know, and then like he has this Isaac Twitter account that he made back in 2017. Um, and he he like using reply to his tweet about why getting rid of all my stuff for when I return. And I feel like MV too, like it would be hard because you know with our Uncle Chris and like he doesn't talk to Nick or Swift anymore. He doesn't. Um, Dom's in Flo lives in Florida now, so like. All the people that were in MV are gone. Yes, you know you can make it different without those people, but will it really be that good? 
I don't know. Like, Isaac's story was a very tall psycho kid um, story was told. The devil story's been told. Like, so I move on from them. You know, you can like them, but rewatch them, you know? Like, it's time to do new things. It's time to move on. I like that he's doing I'm the vlogs. Back more regularly. So I am talking so much. Happened fun. in my family, and I want to take a personal moment later on in the video, so I hope you'll stick around. But I want to just say this right now. I'm so happy to feel like I finally have a better relationship with the... Speaking of, I'm um, lost. His aunt did, um, he did say the aunt died from cancel, can cancel, cancer. Um, and speaking of my dad's update, he's doing okay. He has two more treatments left and then hopefully he should be in remission. Um, I know I did say, they said that it's just, if he doesn't go into remission, there's time, but that's not true. My mom said she was like Googling stuff and there's people who go on chemo for like years and stuff. So like, you know, I'm, I have confidence my dad would go on remission, but cancer sucks, man. Um, you know, he's just been really tired. He lost his taste, unfortunately, today. Um, which sucks, but he's doing okay for the most part. You know, he's not feeling the greatest. It's starting to catch up to him, but yeah, it, cancer just sucks, man. I really hate it. I hope we can find a cure soon um, for all cancers to help people because it's not fair, especially kids who get cancer. It's not fair. Cancer fucking sucks. So if, and if any of you are going through that or have gone through it with someone who has cancer, or maybe you have had cancer before, I'm sorry. My heart goes out to you. Just, it sucks to watch your loved one go through it. A camera and YouTube, they definitely put too much pressure, all the expectations, the series, and, and the algorithm crap, and not feeling like creative and stuff. It's just nice that I can feel more free and be more real with you guys on the second channel. And honestly, it's making filming fun again. Because I, I can't say I've been in the most creative mood. I've just been feeling like I want to kind of be more real and vent to you guys. So to be able to get this I like it, I like the vlogs. And, and actually like yeah. look forward to maybe popping a vlog off. That is serious progress, guys. And I want to put too much pressure on now, but it's a start. And, you know, hopefully we can get build, keep building this momentum. You guys have my back. And who knows, before we know it. Trust me, I know. It's not easy to pump out videos. Anyway, I always struggle with ideas, oh, you know. Oh Someone want to make good lot, videos for you guys. Like, the other day, I made a video doing my doll's makeup, you know, and then I decided, no, I'm not going to upload it because I thought it was kind of stupid. So, like, you know, it is a struggle. That's why I always ask you guys for video ideas because I want to know what you want to see because I don't know what to make. Like, I do, but then I don't at the same time. That makes sense. Boy, I found. Look at you know? This like, once I get my Xbox here, hooked guys, up, I can do, like, more gaming vids. I think I might do a, make a gaming channel because I want to do, like, gaming vids, but I don't want this channel to turn into a gaming channel. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. Stuff. If you guys missed the tweets that I did here, 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 I'm giving away so many things from Sega Series and my virtual escape wardrobe props you name it let's go up there because that hoodie is wearing some psycho series and stuff he kind of looks like psycho kid if you want any stuff, with that hair cut too does he not this is a white stick right now oh it's pretty bad guys it, it, it's pretty bad medical mystery of me jerking me it's once more you shouldn't be going yeah, in the basement so and having to do nice stairs if your knees fucked up so guys if you want you know any what i mean things like i said dm me some really cool opportunities for opportunities they will be shipped out <laughs> probably mostly all done by this week so by the time you're watching us guys do not hesitate ask me be specific so i know like oh you really want this thing and why and i'll try to make it happen for you also yes guys this is the hoodie from the psycho series it's mm -hmm. not for sale i'm not giving it away it's not an option what the hey it's my resident hairdresser Woo! guys my mom just brought over she found one of my original camcorders mm -hmm. this is not my og og i have those this is like one of the in-betweens this is my canon vixia hv40 Damn. Look, I remember that like the back of my hand. This was when we upgraded to 1080p HD, which all you kids are absolutely spoiled by right now. But like, back in the day, we didn't have this. Like, back like it was day. like a game changer. I remember seeing it go from 480p to 1080. And this picture was so high quality. I remember having to save up like a lot. It was like $800 for this camera at the time. And that was like all the money I had. And I was like, is it worth it? And I remember we did a camera test. I could show some of it here where it was called Frighteningly Beautiful. <laughs> I was just like filming random like flowers and stuff with it. But like, well, I'll, I'll show it here. Oh yeah, that video is still up on his channel. I've seen it. jump scare i don't know youtube was different then no you didn't get me yeah no the only thing that's gotten long anyway guys my mom's <laughs> in, uh
She's been my resident barber for like. I cut my own hair too. Like I just do trims. I like don't cut a lot, so I could get away with cutting my own hair. Really, not like that hard or that bad. You just kind of have to know. No, I think it's good. And like you do have hair cutting scissors now, so I've got hope. I don't, I, it, it comes up every time. Bit. I know, but I think it's strong for me, courageous, Dude, to step I'm back like, into the chair. Yeah, I feel, because my, my mom, when she was learning, used to cut my toenails. She cut both of my pinky toes. Not at the same time, in different occasions, but ever since then, I don't like anyone touching my feet because of it. I would never let anyone cut my toenails because of that. So I get where Jesse's coming from. But it's you know, not fun, you know. It's, I want to say it's like a traumatic thing, but like, you know, it it's triggering. You know, you don't, you don't want that because you get nervous because of that. So, but I, I feel that. I feel that. Are you sure that's not where Fred bit you? No. Got it. You see it? Do you actually see a nipple out of it? Like, it's like, it's like a perforated? Yeah. Uh-huh. Is that the ear Fred bit you? I think you both hit the same spot. <laughs> maybe you snipped part of it off, and then when Fred took a bite, there was nothing to bite there. So maybe you saved me. All right. I don't know. You ready, Freddy? Jesus. Hey guys, I cut my dad's hair. It's actually not too hard to cut here. We saw what happened in 2020 when she cut my hair. I have to use that head in videos. I look like a thumb. Yeah, you look pretty bad. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't yeah, think that was a bad nail cut. Yeah. Well, it's been a bit. Guys, my mom is retired. I'll let her know. Maybe she can come cut fans' hair. <laughs> I don't think so. I just cut your father's hair Sunday. Yeah. We'll see how it looks. All right. That's it. <laughs> what <laughs> the hell, Ma? I told you I gotta clean it up a little. Right now, I gotta take a look. Pull a cockatiel. Put a little cockatiel over here. Can I even say that? Well, I don't want to take too much off, so I'll take a little more. I gotta clean up your neck. Dude, it looks so jank. Sorry, it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. Dosh, Just gotta kind of fix the front up a bit. Yes, it looks fine. <laughs> but like I said, I've come with that here a few times. Guys, it's really not that hard to cut here, as people may think. You know, I know people go to school for it. I'm not saying like it's the most simplest thing in the world. Like it does take some precision, but it's really not that hard as people may think it is. You know, like girls' hair could be a little bit hard, but it's, if you just do trims, then I can do my own hair and I do pretty good. When I did my hair like a month ago, it, I had my mom check it for me, and she didn't really have to do anything, it was fine. You know? Guys, I'm training Ashley to be a better camera person. We all should be bet wanting to get better at any point in our lives. Don't think you know everything. It's always time to learn. But yeah, because should Ashley be the new camera person? She doesn't want to, but she has the potential. And honestly, maybe I need a female camera person instead of a male, because, yeah. Oh, look at me, come here, baby. Alien boy. Did you, did you put sticky stuff in here? I put, uh, yeah, put gel on there. Okay. So, well, I'll see how long it It's water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like cradling the camera right now. And so I'm holding the right hand and then zooming with the left. I'm shaking my right hand. And on the video side, it's not bad at all. You're not shaking your hand. Yeah, I am. You're shaking your arm. No, I am shaking my hand. You can't see it. And if it is, like, because there's... Yeah, it's not too bad. Shop. It's only shaking a little bit. Guys, I'm trying to show my mom that, like, I think she could film with a DSLR and be pretty good instead of, like, using selfie stick. Because, like, I don't know. I think everyone can get into filming. Like, some people like to be in front of the camera. Some people like editing. Front of Everyone's the camera. got their thing. I don't mind editing. I can't do, like... I can't do basic editing, editing, but I don't mind editing. It's satisfying, you know, to know, like, but if you're filming, you edit and you... Then you finish and you go back and look at it to see, like, I did that. You know, like, you did that. You know, I feel like it just has right. I mean, editing is not for everyone. Like, it depends what type of editing I need. If it's just basically putting an image in or, like, a video clip or, like, having to split something or a time lapse or putting, like, text in, I can do all that. Like, the basics, you know, of cutting, cropping, inserting images and in video clips. Um, you know, I can, like, cut things off to make the video better, you know like split the video and then like delete like certain parts that like i kind of just not needed like the basics you know but more advanced stuff like i i need someone else to do for me so you know but yeah i don't mind editing the zoom you can get like really smooth zooms get yeah. a little dutch angle uh, to each their own you know some people like, like it some people don't shot. yeah you can just start 12 minutes i feel like how are you supposed to get better at something if you don't do it time. 
I can try. Yeah. But I have to. I have to get a camera then, because the. You know, I thought you had one of these. The seventy did. Six 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 code six six six. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> the devil. All right. As I said before, uh, so now all this you can take. All these clothes, and then I'll just that text you. Too? No, that's actual trash. Um, unless somebody wants a bag of Mick Jagger nuggets, trash. Uh, yeah, I found the pants that match the hoodie. Uh, but yeah, you can. Oh, they go to, as a set. Potentially, yeah. Okay. If I find the right person. Pretty much all that stuff. I am keeping the shoddy back there, and maybe one or two other things, and the pirate. How about one. the lava lamp? I heard somebody uh, or something. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's all for grabs. All the art. But uh, yeah, I'll send you all their information, guys. Like I said, make sure you DM me. You don't have anything left of the house, right? That people might want. Oh, so the motorcycle. Yes. Oh, you haven't got rid of that, right? No. Guys, no, you're getting rid of it. Guys, if you want the psycho kid submerges motorcycle, motorcycle, I'll put it right here. That bad boy. You should give someone the druggies and we'll be able to pick one. That would be cool. So, might, not the, like the Honda druggies and we'll be I mean the original druggies and we'll be Why not? It's like a cool thing to have. No? So, you're going to send me. No, we're going to take all that to your car right now. The painting pole. Yeah, yeah, I just found that. The whole painting is molded colored like that? Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, that I might not. That might be hard to ship out. That I might keep here if somebody just happens to show up to the house. Yeah, you you can't ship that out. Nah. Also, probably those swords. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yo, bro. Yeah, you can't ship weapons, bud. Yikes, dude, it's dark AF. Yikes, you live? Yo, yikes. You joined the mid a bigger hero. I don't know. Should I put my head in there? Yeah, just freak him out. Yeah, just give him a dirty look. Why is she wearing a mask, though? I feel like it's not a thing anymore. Excuse me. 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 Excuse me.
is scary. It's yeah, like very yeah. intimidating the process. Because Diego's gonna have no free time. Like, he's got to sleep on stream. That's exactly yeah, right. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Guys, so please comment. Hello. My comments like to turn off by themselves. I've <laughs> talked about it before in videos. It's annoying. I turn them back on, so please comment. Because I think most people comment on videos that I think the comments stay on. So I feel like they're like, oh, like they might just go off like one time and then that's it. I haven't watched Rick and Morty in a while. I should. But. All right, yeah, we'll see you. Farewell, farewell. Mom's like, yeah, he ain't gonna I'm laugh. Yeah, they, 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 I didn't get to see his face. I mean, I've wanted to do it, but I'm just like, I don't, you gotta be in that right mindset. Cause it's like kind of like daily vlogging, but at least you get the you get a break, you know. This you gotta sleep on it. Like imagine like just yeah, scratch, hard. like scratching your nuts, or like you gotta eat every meal on stream. Mm. Like we're using the bathroom, getting a shower, like. Yeah, they're still doing it. There's that that they're still in that right now. But granted, I think she is like kind of cheating a little bit, where she like leaves her setup for a while, so she's technically not even on video anymore. So I don't know. There's some gray areas, but but guys, make sure you tune in for that. It starts February first. I mean, like you can't really show someone you know, using a bathroom on stream or in the shower. I mean. Just forever. Yeah, He's gonna have cameras in the gym, in the theater. Like we got all kinds of crazy. Like, what if we're all like watching a movie together? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta know that we're, you know, we're on camera. Yeah, but guys, definitely. Yeah, but you can't put a movie on that. That's copyright. I'm pretty excited for it. Like, how would that work? I know. I'm still picking my nose. I don't care. Guys, it's probably my like twelfth camera I've ever given away. Oh, thank you. Yeah. The passing of the can. Yeah, so I, there, you should have. It's the same Canon batteries. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, ha I have batteries. Yeah, it's a seventy D, and then the mic is the. If this one turns six 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 on me. Then it's something you're doing. Going on. No, it's something that you're doing. And oh, it's Jesus. possessed. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's Jesus. The, I mean, he's not wrong by that. that one, right? you, 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 you do need Jesus. Forget to turn the mic on. Hey, we have the switch. Jesse's just, oh, just really? so funny. So you I don't can. have a charging cord for that. What, what, what are you talking about? To charge the mic. You need a, a, oh. a, a plug that charges mm -hmm. that. You don't have that? There's, it's not like a universal a thing? Gun, no. oh. All right, my mom's heading now. How's that? Uh, uh, how's dad done? Um, he's, not, he's just kind of like, you know, melancholy, I guess. Yeah, because okay. I was going to talk yeah. to the audience about Annie and me real yeah. quick. Um, he's just like not... Uh, in his really good mood that he's for bathroom. This is yeah, the second yeah, sibling he's lost so, in like two years. Poor side yeah. dad. You know, I don't know how many siblings he has. Siblings so like two have had passed, so he's grasp not grasping. What's he? What's I don't. Well, he's now the oldest. He's, he's like now the oldest kid. He's the yeah, oldest kid now. Realizing now there's only two two out of four left, so he's he's got something going oh, on okay, in his so mind, cool. you know, and he. Yeah. Which it sucks, and you know. I can't imagine what like, like to do. Yeah, and yeah, and they lost two kids. Guys, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make Parents sure never outlived sure their kids. But, it's, yeah, it's such a terrible thing when that happens. Recent passing our fam. Yeah, let's sit down for that. So I debated talking about this. I, I, I have to. Um, it's still, it's very hard. It's very hard for me. I can do things in character and tell stories and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. when it comes to like real life. It's still it's still challenging for yeah, sure. I get that. My, my aunt Amy uh, passed She's away pretty. last week from cancer. Cancer it, it's sucks. Been tough. Man. It, it's especially been tough on my dad, and that's really hard to see. This was my dad's sister, also She's Uncle pretty. Chris's sister, and it sucks. It sucks just the last like, few years losing my grandmom, Uncle Chris, and now Aunt Amy and. Uh, just our whole family to have to like go through that it's really a shame because you guys never really got to like meet her through videos um Lost sucks, they man. moved sucks all over people. the place they used to be here in jersey like her and my cousins they lived in florida for a while illinois my aunt was ba uh, battling cancer for almost five years now and was really kicking it and uh i got to see her in 2021 right before we we're doing the alien hunting trip and we got to spend time with her. She looked great. She was in great spirits. We had a long talk there. And uh, it was somebody that I never really got to get that close with. And I'm, I'm sad about that. I, I wish we did become close because I knew we would have headed off. Very similar to Uncle Chris. Just like 
said what she felt just a warrior man like hearing her struggle like fighting cancer and like what we talked about at the wedding was just like super inspiring and i won't ever forget it to see you know somebody like her all the things that she's gone through to be older and battling cancer is just like definitely put things into perspective especially because she still had a smile on her face she was laughing and really just having the time of her life so super happy that her son will my cousin uh, was getting married and really that the family was back together again uh because it's tough when families all spread spread out mm -hmm. and i really wish that we got to see my Aunt Amy in videos. Uh, she she actually did have a cameo uh, voice in one of Jeffrey's videos. I'll play it right here. What? What? All right, that's fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I was just taking pictures. Okay, okay. Pretty good first time. <laughs> That's funny. Like, she was definitely yelling, and like, I just know, I just know over time, you guys would have grew to love her, and it would have been mm -hmm. nice just to have, you know, that whole. You know, part of the family involved and, and, and close with and see you know, that's the thing about youtube families i know a lot of people think it's messed up to like family channels are messed up to like video kids but it's memories because you never know what can happen you never know when someone's gonna pass so like they can have these videos to look back on especially like the kids with their parents you know like you know i think you guys instead of hating on family channels i think you need to think about that more like they're making memories with their families that they can look back on like the kids could when their parents passed you know to look back on these videos like you don't think about these things you know and i think you need to because family channels really think about it they're actually pretty cool because not a lot of people can say they have all these videos of their family you know their parents like when they were kids like how many people can say that you know what i mean so i think we need to really stop hating on family channels you know because too many people die young so like it's cool to have these videos to look back on, you know? So instead of hating, think about that next time before you want to leave a hate comment or talk shit about family channels. Just saying. It sucks how things, things happen. You know, mm -hmm. I, wish, I wish I had more more to share. I wish I had those memories. I wish I had those videos, you know? Like, and Jesse has videos of, of Uncle about, Chris. Like, we'll see how good Chris that is to have so you can watch back videos, and his grandma too. This, like, you don't think about and, these and things. and We need to start instead of hating. I do look back on the conversations me and my aunt have had, even though, you know, um, she is so far away. Uh, we had some really good talks, and she was always one of my biggest supporters, and I knew, I knew she wanted to still, she wanted to be around all of us. She, she was a fan of, of, of everything that we were doing, a fan of me, and she said, uh, it's maybe a few days before she passed, she, her, her last, uh, text to me was, um, uh, she loves me, and she's, she's, she's very proud. Mm -hmm. Um, I still have texts from my uncle on my old phone. The last few years probably been real struggle, just losing loved ones and due to the pandemic or just, you know, life in general. Just keeps going, man. <laughs> just keeps going. And it gets hard. It gets harder as you get older, you know. Really appreciate all your guys' support. Appreciate it is if on my dad's Stuffy channel, thing. whenever you see my dad, whether on social media, I just I pray to God I don't have to make this video you know, about my dad. You know, I pray to God. You know, so no. that's not easy. Um, so I feel bad for him, and uh, I feel bad for uh, my cousins and and uh, her husband and just all all my family members. It's just mm -hmm. sucks. Uh, it sucks. Fortunately, my dad get, did get to visit my aunt before she passed in Florida. And actually, if you guys remember in the vlog that we did around New Year's, I asked what my dad was like, expectations was for this year. And um, we were afraid that something, this might happen. Uh, so that's, that is why. Um, and we're just trying to like, just trying to, just trying to process, you know? Um, Kind of reminds me of like Uncle Chris's the last text exchange of May is like keeping keeping expectations low for the year so you won't be dis disappointed. We love you, Aunt Amy. We'll all miss you, and thank you for being a very positive influence and impact on this family. And we will Rest never forget you. And I'm I'm if I'm presented with very difficult health challenges i can be as brave as you have been anyway guys 
thank you for indulging me and um thank you for all the love and uh there is the block well, less is than a minute left it's probably a little bit a little end piece but love you guys to death and do not forget to keep it rigid and for anyone struggling out there just remember you're not alone and you can always feel free to reach out Rest in peace. I'm like feeling emotional because I'm thinking about my dad, you know? 86 grand! Oh my god, guys! That's how much it costs oh. to replace this Holy room? Holy shit. <sighs> yeah, I'm about to start making some more videos. 86 <sighs> grand, shit. See, what I said, I said like a couple thousand. Ones. But yeah, you know, this sucks, guys. You know, especially because... But my dad going through cancer right now. It's like, I just feel like cancer's been everywhere. Like, on two TV shows I watched, there's two people with cancer. Like, it's all of a sudden, like, now it like, seems like you're seeing cancer everywhere, you know? It's a sucky thing, guys. But, you know, again, another thing, too, with technology. A lot of people like to bitch about technology. But, again, it keeps us connected to a loved one. So, if you have family in different state, you can FaceTime them, call them on the phone, text them. So, in case something like this happens and someone passes... You're, able, you're still able to have that communication with them. Like, people like to bitch about technology in these family channels. I don't understand because they're making memories. So, God forbid something happens to someone, they have these memories to look back on. And it just breaks my heart to see people judging that, you know? And I feel like it comes from jealousy, too, because I feel like they probably wish they were able to do this with their families and make these memories to have and, you know, be close to their family. So, they're just, you know, jealousy. But... They just think about that next time you want to complain about technology or complain about family channels. Because, you know what? At the end of the day, they'll have the memories of their loved ones to look back on, you know. And that's an amazing thing to have. I wish I had more. I mean, we have lots of pictures and stuff, but you know what I mean. So, just keep that in mind before you want to, you know, say anything. But, sorry, Jesse and the Ridgeway family and Jeff. Too. I'm sorry, lost a second sibling. Um, my heart goes out to the Ridgeway family. Guys, go show Jesse some ledger and don't be harassing him for videos and stuff. Let him grieve, let his family grieve, let them, and let him, Jesse rehab his knee, let his knee heal. Just, you know, let Jesse be for now. You know, and just, yeah. But love you, Jesse. I love you, Ridgeway family, everyone, Ashley. You guys are, you know, help me out through tough times. Your videos, I hope you know that. Um, so keep doing what you're doing, uh, you know, it does suck. Yeah, like I said, I just pray to God. I don't have to make this video about my dad passing because I, I wouldn't be able to handle that. So I do pray to God every night for him to beat this cancer to go into remission. You know, even though he'll always, he'll always be there. And like, even when he goes to remission, he'll still have to have like treatments, but not like that often just to keep it at bay. Um, but I have faith that he'll be okay, you know. I know some of you are not religious, but I do pray. That's what I do. You know, I, I that's the thing, guys. Like, being religious doesn't mean you have to go to church or, like, follow every single word of God. I'm religious, but I, I pray every night. That's all I do. I don't go to church, but I do have, like, a Bible. It's a children's Bible. I do have, like, a lot of, like, angels and crosses and stuff. You know, I'm not super religious. You know, that's the thing. Like, you don't have to be super religious, just, you know, as long as you pray and, like, stuff like that, that's fine. I mean, if you want to believe in God, that's fine. You don't, you don't. Like, I don't judge on that. I think it's stupid for people to judge someone on, based on what they believe in. Like, you know, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. But, sorry about the talking so much. This is why I love doing videos with this setup instead of, like, you know, with the whole face cam thing and all that. You know, it's good. It, it makes it easier because the whole storage issue. But then I can, like, make longer videos like this and talk and stuff. Because that's probably reaction video. And not have to worry about the length of time. But I'm going to go do my story time video. I love you guys. Um, I love you. Again, I love you, Jesse. Thank you for being a big inspiration to me. And thank you for helping me out through tough times with your videos. And just being who you are. You know. Us druggies love you and we'll always be here for you. And with that being said, guys, I love you so much. Follow me on my social, Falcon Insta. Subscribe to Josh. Subscribe to Ori Zones Good Junkie. Subscribe to Dan. Subscribe to Jacob. Subscribe to Caleb. Subscribe to Colin. Um, did I say subscribe to Cosmic? I don't know. But guys, please subscribe to me. Please like and please comment. And I'll see you randomers in the next video. Peace.